Hi guys, it's Sam and I'm back with another video for Lawn Fun. Today I'm making a bir belated birthday card with Year 11 Stamps and Dies, Out of This World Stamps and Dies, Party Animal Stamps and Dies. I don't end up using these letter dies, but I do end up using Puffy Cloud Borders, um, Starry Sky Stencil, <laughs> starry sky stencil who tongue twister <laughs> and um yeah i think i think that's it <laughs> um okay so i'm gonna start by stamping my images as always i am gonna use zig clean color real brush markers to color these in so i like to use um a paper uh, special paper that is a vellum mixed media surface. This is the paper I like to use the most for zigs because the color just like glides on it like butter. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, I am stamping enough party hats for all my extra planets and also a couple extra balloons because it's a party. <laughs> I am spritzing some water onto my craft mat and getting my dry water brush wet and then setting it aside for when I use it. I always use the darkest color where I want the shadow to be on my image and then I use my medium color to pull it out and then my lightest color to pull that out leaving white space towards the uh, the lightest part of my image and then I use my water brush to blend it all together. Um, this is what I do for all my images. <laughs> I also am going to add pink cheeks to all my images because me. <laughs> And because this is a Sam card, I will be coloring these planets in rainbow theme. <laughs> I know we're all shocked by this. I couldn't help it though. <laughs> They're too cute. Um, the cool thing with zigs is that if you color outside the lines, you can add a little bit of water and pull that color out till it's gone and then just dab it up with a dry paper towel and it's like it was never there. Ask me how I know. <laughs> because I color outside the lines all the time. <laughs> uh, I think this year 11 stamp set, that little Saturn-y planet with the kazoo, kazoo? I'm gonna call it a, a kazoo. <laughs> and party hat, I think it's like the cutest thing ever. And it's no uh, stretch that I combined it with out of this world because they're all planets. But I thought it was so cute to create a belated birthday card. I have a lot of birthday cards that are ready to go, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm human. And many times, even though I have the cards for the people, I forget to send them on time because I'm human. <laughs> Am I the only one who forgets? So anyway, I thought to make a belated birthday card that is uh, if I don't mind myself saying, pretty cute, <laughs> then I think that would just be good to have on hand because life. <laughs> anyway, um, I usually, when I color in my images, I, when I'm using my water, my water brush to blend in the colors, I do it in a circular motion because that gets rid of any streaks. So, it makes it a little bit, I don't know, more watercolory. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, gosh. Anyway, as always, when I'm coloring in uh, my reds or oranges, I use a little bit of brown for the, the most shadowy part to add um, depth of color. And then for my balloon, I'm just coloring it in with pinks and corals. And I'm finally going to color in my party hats. The striped ones are, of course, going to be rainbow. And... Those are easy to do, just goes boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Not much coloring there. And then for the um, solid party hats, I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't know what color to make these. <laughs> so I just went with colors that I was feeling that were part of my planets. So I did, um, oh yeah, look at me. <laughs> look at me blending the colors of those party hats with, there's, there's barely any room to blend. Anyway, I am doing blues and greens, color of uh, the color of the earth-ish. <laughs> and then pinks, which is the color of that small planet on the bottom. And then I also do, um, ah yes, yellow like the sun. Because I felt like the card needed yellow. 
<laughs> and those are my images. I do end up adding some um, details with a white gel pen and I die cut them out with the coordinating dies. And now I am moving on to the background. I am using lots of Distress Oxide. I'm going to do lots of ink blending. I am using Blueprint Sketch, Mermaid Lagoon, Cracked Pistachio, and Squeeze Lemonade for the background. I thought it would be fun to make a different kind of spin on the galaxy instead of doing it mostly black with some pops of color for the stars. I thought, why don't I make it a really kind of cool background with... Uh, pops of black. <laughs> so that's what I did. I used the puffy cloud borders to die cut out some borders of clouds that I'm going to use as a stencil. And I'm just going to use my black soot and ink blend on top of these clouds to create the illusion of it, you know, being high in the sky or in this case, the galaxy. Luckily, I'm not being graded on realistic. <laughs> on realism because I would not pass but I really like um how this looks the the pretty sky the ink blended sky with the dark clouds I don't know it just kind of made like a fun little look for me I did this one time with a Halloween card and I just really liked it so that's what I'm doing here and then I'm taking the starry sky stencil and the white embossing paste the white stencil paste and I'm just going to add some texture for the stars and then set that aside to dry. And that's the background. And it's so cute. Perfect for these rainbow party planets, right? <laughs> While I was waiting for everything to dry, I decided to heat emboss the sentiments from that year 11 stamp set. And I... <laughs> using a long piece of black licorice cardstock and heat embossing part of the sentiment on the bottom and in white, of course, for it to, you know, high contrast. And then I'm heat embossing the other part of the sentiment at the very tippy top. The reason I did this was because I cannot line things up straight. And so I just imagined myself trying to cut these out in a straight banner after I'd stamped them wonky. So I thought, you know what? <laughs> if I can use both ends of the cardstock, I know I will have a straight surface. <laughs> so that's what I did. And this is basically what the card is gonna look like. This is the really boring part. I'm just gonna be taking off the foam tape. A few of the planets are um, on foam tape to be popped up. Um, most of them and the balloons are being glued straight down. And I'm just putting my acrylic block on top to hold it down because with the starry texture, it is, um, you know, it wants to pop up. But the acrylic block helps hold it down. And I am using all the adhesives. <laughs> I'm sure you know by now that that is how I roll. Glue <laughs> and foam tape and tape. <laughs> Because this card's not going anywhere, people. <laughs> These images are going to stay, you know, no matter what. <laughs> and I'm using the Lawn Fawn glue to, you know, be my final adhesive <laughs> for everything. And that really holds really well. So that's my card. I'm just going to trim off that excess sentiment strip and then attach it to a white card base. And um, that's my card. Oh, I do fight a little bit with my tape runner. It decided, you know, it knew that I was recording this card, so it, it had to act up. I, I did win against the tape runner, but it was touch and go there for, for a minute. Oh, boy. Anyway, I really like how this card came out. I think it's a fun little twist on a galaxy, and these rainbow planets are just, like, ready for the party. I hope you had fun watching this card come together. Please be sure to check it out on the Lawn Fawn blog. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.